Eu saúdo a igreja com a paz do Senhor. Com a paz do Senhor. E eu convido os que estão se levantando nesse momento. Nós vamos ler alguns versos da Bíblia. Some verses of the Bible that it is found in the book of Joshua. So Joshua 14. Joshua 14, from verse 7. <coughs> I was 40 years old when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me to Kadash. Barnea to spy out the land and I, and I brought back word to him as it was in my heart nevertheless my brethren who went up with me made the heart of a people melt but I wholly <coughs> followed the Lord <coughs> my God so Moses swore on that day saying certainly the land where your foot has shown then shall be your inheritance and your children's forever because you have wholly followed, followed the Lord my God and now behold the Lord has kept me alive as he said this 45 years since the Lord spoke this words to Moses while Israel wandered in the wilderness and now here I am this day, 85 years old. As yet, I'm, I'm as strong this day as the day that Moses sent me. Just as my strength was then, so now is my strength for the word, both for going out and coming in. Now, therefore, give me this mountain of which the Lord has spoken on that day. For you heard on that day how the Anakin were there and then the cities were great and fortified it might be that the Lord will be with me and I shall be able to drive them out as the Lord said and Joshua blessed them and gave Haran to Caleb the son of Jephodin as an inheritance the mother's baby seated <coughs> My brother, the word of the Lord shows us clearly the experience lived for the brother Ca Caleb. 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 He lived moments that were really important. When the people, they left Egypt and they came to Canaan, Canaan, and the word, the word tells us that all those people that left Canaan, Canaan, those who left and those who came in, in Canaan, <coughs> how many? Two, only two. Right. Many left Egypt. Many died in the desert. Many came in, um, entered Canaan. But on those 40 years that the people walked in the desert, Joshua and Caleb, they were two that left Egypt. That they saw the promise of the Lord. They've seen the people of the Lord back. They, they saw hunger. They saw the people arguing and they saw the miracles too. 
<coughs> Now, certain day, soon, when the people were coming to earth, Moses, he separates 12 men to go, some people forward alone, so they could look at the land, what they were going to go through, <coughs> who lived in the land, it was the land that the Lord has separated for him. The land was already theirs, but there were some people, 12, they went, and there they saw, we can see here, the Anakins, they've seen people, the Anakins, people, they were already leaving, in a small town, small village, they were strong people, and from those 12 that, that went there, when they came back, they brought some, some fruits, that they had found in the way, And ten of those twelve, they got horrified with what they seen. Oh no, <coughs> that's not a place for us. The people there, they're dangerous. They kill. There's no way we can stay there. Let's find another place. Joshua and Caleb, they were the only ones that said something positive about what they seen. And he says here, and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna stop. And what it was the the word of Caleb. Moses hears what they have to say, and he goes in the land. He enters the land. From that time, Moses he had not partured. So Joshua, he takes um, Moses' place as a leader, and now when the people invade the land, the Lord gave them the victory. And now, in the past 45 years, since when they went over there to spy the land, and now Joshua, he starts to separate between the, the families piece of land for one. Oh, see, this is for you. This little farm is yours. This is going to be yours. All oh, the family. This family is going to be there. And then it started to do some divisions where people were going to live. <coughs> Caleb, he remembers that Moses had promised him a piece of land. And now he comes to Joshua, and he says, Hey, Joshua, 40 years ago, we went out there to spy the land. You remember, you know, we were scattered. 10 here, they came back. 10 came back. They made the people's heart melt of how scared they were. But we were the only one that heard the voice of the Lord. And it says right here. <coughs> I brought the answer. Just like I felt in my heart. Those ten, they brought the answer. Just like they have seen, from what they have seen, they saw, they were scared, they forgot what God had said, they forgot the voice of the Lord, they put the side of the promises, and they simply, because they were scared, because of what they seen, they closed their ears. And they didn't li listen to their hearts. But no, Caleb, at this this moment, he reminds Joshua, we don't, 
we weren't we didn't do we didn't say as what we have seen our position was as what we had heard from the voice of the Lord <coughs> 45 years passed by and now Caleb is 85 he goes and asks do you know what he asked what did he ask who remembered what he asked he asked for what the herons yeah where was the herons inherent it was the land of Hebron, but what part? I want to say, I'm in the mountain. The mountain. Listen. I. My my dad was a farmer. I would I would ask for the valley, you know, for what is down there. Who knows about land? You got a farm that has like mountains, and you got a, a farm that has water, a river that has like um, a, f a land, a piece of land. What would um, be more worth it? That thing that has water, because if you put like some cows in the mountain, they'll drop, they'll they'll die, you know, they'll fall. So it's kind of hard to live in the mountain. You know, if if the if the cow has more place to walk, the meat's gonna be better in the future. You know, I kind of fixed it up right here because if I get home, my wife will say, "Oh, you said something ugly today." Oh, then you don't you don't leave them behind. But no, don't worry, it's better. It's better. Nobody wants to buy a mountain. It's a mountain. You got one the inheritance is really big. The family is really big. And you have to divide their hands. The young ones, they only got mountains. The old ones, they only got, they only got the, the best parts. And the, old, the, the, the young ones, they got the mountains. They, they got the hardest part. But Caleb here, he asked for the mountain. Look. He was, he, they were friends, really close to, Ke uh, to Caleb, to Joshua. They worked together, they conquered Canaan together, Cana together. But, oh, I think um, Moses, you know, he mistaken, he asked me to get a mountain. Now I'm old, I'm 85, I had to go up in the mountain, come down, up and down, up and down. I'm sure that he would give Joshua the best part, and, but no. I want, Caleb says, I want the mountain. My brothers, as we can see here, we can see some really important details. The choice of Caleb, the servant of the Lord at this time. He needs to know how to pick the servant of the Lord that doesn't choose the things just like the promise of the Lord. The servants of the Lord that annulates, cancels, and forgets what the, and forgets what the Lord says, and forgets to look at the Bible what the Word says. Those who don't walk as the word as the Lord says. It will not resist the fights, the struggles. It won't win. Moses had Caleb had Caleb was forty when he left. Now he's eighty five. He says, I'm so strong. I'm as strong as I was forty years ago. Nothing changed. He says in other words, his strength was not physical strength but was happiness that he felt of had done something it had chose the best choice in his life the best thing that he did was to hear the voice of the Lord he didn't go as for what he saw that's what many people do today 
where youths they go wrong. Sometimes the youth they pick the the girlfriend or whatever for the prettiest one. Oh wow, she needs to to her hair looks to look good and stuff like that. Some youths they they mistaken on that. They forget that people they fell many times because they base the, their lives in appearance and what is in the exterior what is in the outside what is shown and they forgot to look at the inside they forgot to look what is the inside of the people the person sometimes man he forgets he doesn't he cancels the voice of the Lord and he lives for appearance and when he realized the years passed on five ten twenty forty years forty five years passed by and then here he comes and sometimes you know he realized that he chose by appearance sometimes it doesn't even take forty five years it takes five ten years sometimes couple months to come and and, re and repent from what they have done so you have to put God as a priority in your life so when God so when Caleb chooses and base their life and base his life as the Lord as a guider for him he will never repent himself because he will know that he made the right choice he will know that nothing no rain, no sun, no illness not a little weight could interfere on his choice 45 years passed by and Caleb now chose this. Joshua, look I came here because um, there is a promise for me We've been giving land to everyone. Look, that mountain is mine. I won't give, I won't give them up, the mount up. You know, the piece that I want is the mountain. The best thing for the servant it is to be in a mountain. If you're gonna live by what you see, if you're gonna live by the reason, for what, for what is rational. The, mo the mountain, it doesn't work. But if you want to listen to the voice of the Lord, if you want to follow and stay happy and strong, you should go for what is the voice of the Lord and forget everything. Forget your world. Forget what people, what this one says. What the mom says, just forget everything. The Lord shown tonight for the people that it is inside of the churches, but they cancel the promise of the Lord. The people that are here, they have a, they look a label of Christian. You know, they even look Christian. Is the cart is cart of is cart of Christian? Has a Bible of, as a Christian? He sings as a Christian, but in the interior, it's the opposite. In the interior, it's terrible. Because when he starts to act, when he starts to think, when he starts to show what he is then people will recognize where he goes he leaves a mark a bad example as bad testimony but tonight the Lord wants if you have lived your life for the parents if you have lived your life choosing only what is good for this life. Look, I'm gonna get another job because 
I'll get two do I don't know, two dollars. I'll get and then plus five plus ten. But because of those ten dollars you won't be able to come to a service. You're not gonna have time to to do anything because you're gonna get home so tired, so tired. You don't even want to know about Bible. You don't even want to know about pray. There's people that live like this. Our parents, they want to make good money because they want this, they want that. Because he wants good. That's our parents. All that goes by. Today you have, tomorrow you don't. Appearance is this. Those things that is from men, that is rational. Those things that are that makes the eye that it goes by. But the servant of the Lord that lives from the promise, the servant of the Lord that lives, give him value and wanting to do the things from the Lord it doesn't stop he waits for God to act for him he he wait for the Lord to open the doors to move the mountains to calm storms to cure to speak that's our life that's our experience. The servant of the Lord, he needs to be a servant of the Lord. We cannot be in the time that we live in, the time of soon. There is no more time for you to, to play as a Christian. You're playing to be a Christian, to be a member of a church. No. There is no time for that. Your time, your time goes by. And you don't want to do it just like the other ones. You don't want to sit in the desert. You don't want that to happen to you. You're fighting for your family. You're fighting for the system of your family. But put in the altar of the Lord. Put in the altar of the Lord. Lord, is this what you have for me? Is this what you really have for me? I don't want to be only... I don't want to be only in the desert. We cannot. We are the promise of the Lord. Lord has operated miracles among us. What those things that God has given us, it is more important than the word than the world that has offered us. The promises of the Lord is way more worth it than everything that we find outside. The servant of the Lord that lives just like Caleb. The servant of the Lord that lives waiting for the Lord. That lives with the word of the Lord inside of their hearts. The one that lives with the promise in their hearts. He doesn't mistake. He doesn't get lost in his life. And he's always happy. He's always happy. He's always strong. Because it's not going to be tiredness. All the things that the enemy throw at us, the enemy army that's going to overcome us. No, because we have a God that can do all things. And the word of the Lord for this year is who remembers the team of the year? No one rem remembers. Two months ago, we prayed about this. No one remembers. Jesus Christ. You all forgot already? Oh. Do those who win will get all things. I'm your God, you're my son. Ela. Yeah, it's just put on the screen. Those who win will 
have the inheritance of all things, and I will be your God, and you will be my son. There's, is there any promise better than that? This right here. This text is the message, the most important message that we'll find. Those who win all things, who's, how are we going to win? Just save the word of the Lord in our hearts, the promise of the Lord. If you do, though, you'll see how the Lord is going to give you the victory, not only for you, but what the Lord has for us. Eh? Don't live by parents. Don't live by parents. The Lord has taken us from the religion, from this from the Christianity we can say from a gospel that is historic and he gave us a work guided by the Holy Spirit where the Holy Spirit has has everything where the Holy Spirit talks where we have the spiritual gifts vision is a way of, the, of Jesus to speak to men we have everything in our hands There is no, there is no way that we can enter into tortuous ways. Forty years. Even though now I'm so strong, as like Moses has sent me, how my strength was before. Now my strength, it is the same one. Oh Lord, what God gave us one day, it was our call of salvation. It was the opportunity that he gave us to be a part of this people. It is, when he called you, it was in part, it was, it was different. Many of them were called when they were in the hospitals. Any, 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 each, any each one had one experience. But the moment that he called, he put in your heart a hope. He put in your heart a motive for you to live. He put in your heart a motive for you to live a promise. And you see. And this is, and this thing that we have, you have the Lord, it cannot get weaker. The years can pass by, but you need to come to the Lord and say, 30 years ago, you called me to serve in this work, to live salvation with the Lord. But today I'm happy to be considered saved. And I can say to all, and to say to everyone, I'm saved. And today the Lord wants to renew that, wants to renew all the happiness in our life. He wants to renew our call, what's called fire and time. But you need to get out of this place just like Caleb. I'm strong, I'm ready. I'm ready for the war. I'm ready to go out. I'm ready to go in. I'm ready to go in. And then it's brought to mentions. That the Lord could bless us. That the Lord at this time could speak to our hearts. So we could love this work. Love this work of the Lord. Let's hear a song.
I stand up at this time, brothers. The Lord also uh, talks about a woman that entered here. And she has been living really difficult times of her life because a loss of a family member. And this goes more well, the spiritual thing. It's someone that has a has a compromise with the Lord and it stopped. She used to serve the Lord, she was faithful to the Lord, she used to hear the voice of the Lord. But from some time on, this pact was done, it was over. And today the Holy Spirit is making a reminder those moments that she used to live with the Lord. Those moments that she used to be used. Those moments that she used to, be, to have visions. Those moments that she, she was a servant that used to be active in the house of the Lord. And the Lord is making her remind. In this time right here, um, the time passed by and she got weak. And the Lord wants to give you an opportunity today. Hug this place, this opportunity. Don't lose the thing that the Lord is giving you again. Count your days for salvation. Don't count your days for the other things. Count your days for the salvation. Run to the mountain. Right. Pick the mountain. Being in the mountain means to be close to the Lord. Who's, who's in the mountain and hears better the voice of the Lord? Who's in the mountain? It is close. It is more intimate. And that's where we have to go. Give us the mountain. Just like the Lord has promised. The Lord wants us in the mountain. He doesn't want us at the valley. He wants his church close to him. He wants us close to him. Let's have a word for glorification to the Lord. Oh Lord, we want to glorify your name. We want to thank you. We want to say, oh Lord, the great things you have done for us. And those things that you will continue to do so. Teach us how to do the best of us, to be the best of us. We glorify your name, O Lord, because how good it is to glorify your name, to give you gratitude. It's so good. It's so good to serve you, Lord. And it is from all our hearts to say that we serve you, Lord, and we love to serve you. Even those in our limitations, we, you have hugged us, you have blessed us. We thank you because you love us is in such an expendable way. But you're the one to visit us, forgiven our sins, and speak to our lives. You're the one that revealed yourself to us. Oh Lord, we need to see your face. That's why we want to give ourselves to you. Give gratitude in your altar. Because it's wonderful to serve you. Oh Lord, thank you for this wonderful word. We thank you for everything I've done. Because we know that in your presence tonight, we glorify in the name of Jesus. Amen.
Amen. Hallelujah. Holy, holy be the name of the Lord. Take, uh, Lord, our adoration, our service to your name. Bless the Lord that your word, the song sang, the prayers made, they could guide us, give us the direction so we could be close to you, Lord. Take us in peace for a rest night that we could receive the visitation of your angels and dreams and spiritual gifts. It takes away all the sadness, all the, all the suffering and all, all praise, happiness, transformation. Lord, the people here could have the compromise to serve you, Lord. And in only one word we could say that we love you, that we want to serve you, that your will could be, be complete in our life. And this service, this is our prayer. In the name of Jesus, amen. In your name we say that the Holy Grace, your Son, Jesus Christ, Holy Father, the sweet consolations and the gift of the and the gift of the Holy Spirit could be poured upon us now forevermore. Amen. The Lord may be seated the brothers may be seated. We will not ask the brothers to be praying for the uh, I've never seen so many so many monies, so much money, so much this. So yeah, we're fixing our new church. So, so we, already ha we already have the engineers backed and uh, you know they're gonna do all the modifications this and that so the brothers could be praying for that so nothing could interfere and in these documents that need to be taken nothing could interfere on that and uh, so Lord to everyone next week uh, on Sunday at 10 a.m. we're gonna have a special event with the children the sisters they're inviting the brothers we're gonna be you know a little we say a, a little lunch because if we don't say a little lunch so many people come they're not even invited <laughs> so if we say oh we're gonna have a little snack you know it's a little snack so the brothers are all invited. The church is invited. It is an event for our children. It is a moment for us to be here. You know, glorifying our church, giving all the help. They're are they practicing today? Oh, oh, we're gonna have a. Uh, so they're they're back to today with the adolescents. Who's parent uh, of adolescent? We need to practice with adolescents today, tomorrow morning at 9:30. Today, 9 and 9:30. In what days of the week? <coughs> it is better for the parents Monday or Wednesday who can come here on a Monday night at the lessons uh, on, on Leticia ah, you come uh, Isadora you know just me you and the things Isadora, Isadora you know she's, she's gonna play solo because the parents they cannot bring the, the children here on a Wednesday ah, yeah, now now three uh, a little better. Now we come us three, you know. We're gonna, <laughs> we're, gonna play, we're gonna play all all three of us together. So tonight, I I ask for the help. I know everyone wants to go out eat, but we need to practice, you know. The event is next Sunday. We need to practice with the adolescents today, tomorrow morning, Monday or Wednesday. Is it Monday? Monday or Wednesday? Alright. So peace the Lord. 
Ruby upstairs.